Welcome to E Know How. In this video, we will look at uh, drift and diffusion currents. These are the two types of currents that are encountered in semiconductors. Let's first look at the drift current. Drift current happens in uh, drift current happens in metals too, not only semiconductors. So let's take a material, which is a cylindrical material, and then we'll assume that we have like these are the different cross sections within the material and we will say that the concentration of electrons per centimeter cube is n so the carrier say electrons here is n electrons that are there per centimeter cube in this material and now if you apply a voltage or an electric field uh, the electron starts moving. So let's assume that the cross-sectional area is A and then the electron starts moving and they move at a drift velocity which is Vd centimeters per second and then this drift velocity what we call drift velocity Vd actually depends on the mobility of the electrons in that material the mobility of electrons uh, multiplied by the electric field electric field so electric field is nothing but the voltage voltage divided by the distance is the electric field so that is electric field here e so they start moving at a drift velocity or vd centimeters per second so now what happens is if you take any cross sectional area in the material here. So the number of electrons that move, say for example this, the number of electrons that move across the cross-sectional area in a second would be, so the electron covers a distance of say Vd here in a second which Vd is there. So Vd is the length and then the total volume is actually Vd times A. So the electrons present in the volume, so this is the volume that moves in one second. So this is Vd multiplied by A is the volume uh, and the electrons contained in that volume move across a cross-sectional area. So now, so we know that the electronic concentration is n, so the number of electrons crossing a particular cross-sectional area. So crossing a particular cross-sectional area, cross-sectional area, we can write this as, so Vd multiplied by A is the volume, multiplied by the N is the concentration of electrons. So that is the number of electrons. Now if you want to see the charge, the Q, uh, crosses the cross-sectional area, we just multiply it with the electronic charge. So it will be Q N A times V D. So this is the Coulomb's per second, which is nothing but the current. So this is the Coulomb's per second, because we took in one second how much charge is moving. So I can be written as I drift is Q N A and we know that V D is actually mu N times E. So this is the drift current. So this is the drift current in semiconductors or metals. Now there is a current called diffusion current which is usually encountered in semiconductors and uh, usually in places like uh, forward bias diodes and uh, also in BJTs, so which is called diffusion current. Diffusion current. So this happens because there is a difference of concentration in holes or electrons uh, with respect to the distance. So now if you inject holes into a, an n-type semiconductor, they diffuse into the n-type semiconductor. So if you have an n-type semiconductor, 
like I'll, I'll take a p n junction so you got a p plus n junction and if you inject holes you forward bias this junction the holes diffuse in the n type semiconductor so like this and then the holes get recombined so electrons keep moving from this side the electrons will move from this side and then the holes will move from the other side the holes will move from the other side they will recombine and then there will be a current so this is the diffusion current so this will depend on uh, the difference or the slope of the uh, concentration uh, difference so now let's assume with space this is x so where this is uh, distance so if your p of x which is p of x is the concentration of holes say it's falling this way like this so the holes the concentration is negative here so now we have holes moving from uh, x is 0 towards the higher x so now this current the whole current can be written as ip is you put a minus sign i'll tell you why minus q a d p and then d p of x over d x so this is the slope this is the slope of the concentration of holes and we know that in this case it's negative here it's negative here so this negative sign cancels with this negative sign so you get a positive current because when you say holes are moving you get a positive current so you get positive current and where dp now if you look at what dp is this dp is called diffusion coefficient diffusion coefficient and this dp is actually dependent on the mobility so dp is mu p multiplied by kt over q which is the thermal voltage so this is how this is what dp is so it ultimately depends on the mobility of the holes so the whole current let me write it again so ip is minus q a dp a is the cross sectional area here dp dp of x over dx now if you have the similarly the concentration of electrons which is varying with respect to space say n you got electrons moving this way this is n of x so if electrons are moving that way the current is actually going this way so now i n can be written as you don't put a minus sign here because q a d n d n of x over dx so here in this case d n of x over dx is negative so we get negative current in the positive x direction so we get negative current which means that actually like i told you the current is moving this way because the electrons are moving this way so these these are the drift and diffusion currents that are encountered in semiconductors